All right, many thanks to you, Elizabeth Momo. Now to the first story. East and Lions versus FC Calon match today was described as one of the most anticipated matches in the Sierra Leone Premier League. The clash between the two sides ended in a stalemate after due regulation time. Speaking to the head coach of the Killers, Isaac Kofi Safo Castro, on his debut in charge of the Killers, says they failed to win the match because his strikers uh, did not make use of uh, their opportunities, but uh, assures our uh, fans uh, of uh, improved performance in the ongoing league. A man, Samuel Juan Spears, was there and sent us this. Yeah, you know, I watched their last game before this game, and uh, I realized they are short fought. We were twice that, but uh, unfortunately, uh, we, we, one of the strikers couldn't infiltrate into the game. So he got to a point we need a striker to come out, to come in, but uh, because there wasn't any striker, we found it very difficult. But uh, looking at the game we played today, I think uh, it's much improving and uh, we are still going to work more because I'm still not happy about the performances of today because we need the maximum three points and we should have you know, gotten the whole three points. I'm going to speak with them, tell them the mistakes that they did and uh, what they should do. So from there, we work towards that and uh, prepare them very well against the game that we are going to play. Uh, that is my wish and that is my hope. So we are all praying because uh, it, it should be match after match. But we need all the matches. We need to play well and at least perform well. So along the way, when it comes fine, we'll take it because we are all hoping for. We are going to do our best, so they should also do their best to support us. So for me, this, this match was, uh, was a possible win for us, of course. And then uh, we, we, we did everything uh, possibly for us to get the three points. Um, if you look at our situations in the game that we, uh, that we could have combated, and then there was a possible call that the referee ignored, which I think would have changed the whole game for us. And uh, hopefully we believe that if we continue with this, with this style of play, we'll get the three points and get results in the upcoming matches. Because we are optimistic, that's, that's our DNA. Every day when we go into a match, uh, our, our possibility is, is to win the match. So we are optimistic, of course. Okay, we are asking the fans that they should come in numbers for our next match. We are playing Edwards, um, hopefully. We will give them the results. We are positive 100%. Let them come. We are the Cavaliers. We will make sure we give them the results. Well, for today's match, Alhamdulillah, we tell God thank you. Lord, just say 99% of we, the fans, uh, we really satisfied of the performance we didn't perform for we. I'm um, well, a very good game. Of course, not a big match. And the fans that we expect, say, like now, so the boys that they perform, and a very good performance for how to decide it. Um, like, seriously, uh, for now, uh, okay with how the team they play, because like before, and everybody can get bad season. And finally, the King Tom Academy playing field, the approved school playing field, but local playing field and the book coronation field have been undergoing a massive upgrade since the beginning of 2023. This project is a FIFA forwarded and overseen by the Football Association. In an interview with AYV, the Acting General Secretary of the Sierra Leone Football Association, Engineer Mohamed Ben Sinbao, stated that by March this year, all of those facilities will be completed and available for use. Fatma Tassisi has more on the story. In the country, football has faced a prolonged challenge due to terrible playing pitches. Recently, the Football Association received criticism as images of the national team training at St. Edward's Field went viral. This challenge prompted the Sierra Leone Football Association to utilize funds from FIFA's forward program to upgrade four football playing fields. That's the Kingdom Academy, Approved School, Book Coronation Field, and Port Local Town Field. Additionally, they are renovating the Kenema and Kono Town playing fields. Mohamed Benson Bawa, the Acting General Secretary of the Sierra Leone Football Association, provided details on the project. We decided that we are going to use this money to construct artificial turf pitches across the country so that it will directly impact the football development from grassroots to elite football. Other nations that don't have issue of football pitches are no longer spending these amounts of money to develop pitches. 
They are spending this money to play football, giving it to football clubs, to youth clubs, to football academies. We are spending about uh, 2.4 million dollars. Imagine if we have enough football pitches and we choose to invest 2.4 million dollars on clubs. He further elaborated what the facilities will be equipped with. We are doing the pitch, a perimeter fence, a floodlight, and a generator to support the floodlight because we want to ensure that we have a prolonged period to play so that we can play all the way to 9 to 10 p.m. in the night. In addition, we are also putting a floodlight in Kenema again to prolong the period of play. They already have an artificial top. The corner artificial top is currently dilapidated, it's not in the best of conditions. And all of them we have, all of the four facilities I mentioned, will have 100 seater capacity. Academy here, we are doing a modern dressing room that will have four dressing rooms. Okay. One for competition, one for training. Because we have a lot of teams that come here to train. Uh, when the facility was open, teams train here, they come, they take their bath outside, they change outside. It was not something that we are proud of. So we have a gym, we have uh, an, an anti-doping center for the first time in our history as a football federation in that facility. Um, we have a medical This is moreover, he projected a tough. Fat matters to say, AYV Sport, Freetown. But that's all.